Hello and welcome back to Fast Gadgets. So, just a quick video here. Um, I'm going to do an update and find out what updates are available for Fedora 25 Beta. I just checked fedoraproject.org and they still have not released the official Fedora 25 yet, so we're still on Beta. Uh, I think they were hoping to release it on the 11th, but usually there's uh, they take an additional week, so that's fine. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what kind of updates I got. Now, last week I did an update and I actually received several hundred megabytes of updates. So the updates are slowing now a little bit. They're not uh, as large as they normally are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick update and see what we're dealing with. So if I do a DNF update, it'll give me a handy dandy list here and so there's new release notes um, RPM Fusion Free has some looks like font updates uh, Google Chrome released a new stable release uh, FFmpeg which I use of course to uh, create these videos and do rendering of any videos I edit using Kden Live um, looks like the icons for GDK are being updated as well as GDK 3 itself which is good news I don't actually know what Mutter is. I'd have to go look that up. Or SDDM. Uh, Voco screen is being updated. So got my fingers crossed that we might see uh, an elimination of that irritating flicker that I only get on this system. I don't get it on any of my other Linux systems. Um, so it's definitely a hardware and software mix issue. And it doesn't matter which desktop environment I'm on. So hopefully that'll help out a little bit. So I only got 55 megabytes of updates. Pretty small, all things considered. Uh, my experience so far with Fedora 25 has been really good. There's been a few odd issues. Um, not that big of a deal. Uh, earlier between videos that I was shooting, I took a break. And when I came back and sat down my system was logged off of uh, KDE Plasma which is really unusual so I think there might have been a crash and I logged back in and um, I had to recover my tabs in uh, Firefox so there definitely was some kind of crash um, relatively minor I actually haven't seen that so I'm not sure what caused that issue uh, but otherwise things have been going really well and like I said the updates are shrinking so I think we're really close to a final release as far as I know with Fedora 25 I actually don't have to worry about going from beta to the full release it automatically does it so I just start release, uh, receiving Fedora 25 releases and it becomes official and that's the one thing I do like about being on a beta there's no reinstall no fancy footwork uh, I also would like to point out how cool updates are in Linux land. Uh, so basically I did these updates and I didn't have to reboot my computer. Now of course to get the newer version of VocoScreen running um, I would have to you know, shut it down and restart it but I think that's really cool. The only thing I really worry about uh, doing reboots for is the kernel. and probably would have to do a reboot for some of the graphical elements um, that I'm using so yeah there are a few things but overall you do not need to reboot which is really awesome alright so here's the big update for Voco Screen 2.5.0 they now have the scaling correct so that when I am using this tool in a high DPI display I can actually read and see all of the different features and tabs on Boco screen. So this is a really nice update. Hopefully also they uh, have done some fixes with the recording and see if I can uh, record without getting the flicker that I get along the top bar here. So we shall see. If you get a chance head over to facebook.com I've created a uh, page called Fast Gadgets Channel. So if you go to facebook.com Fast Gadgets Channel, uh, you can check out my Facebook page. Uh, I usually drop in links. I try to do a couple a day. Sometimes I'm a little bit behind. 
depends how busy it gets um, but I do put in videos and things like that here and of course you can drop me a message if you want comment on the videos there so hope you enjoyed the video I will see you in the next video and thank you again like and subscribe if you enjoyed it also if you really enjoyed it share it get the message out and hopefully more of this content will be useful to you and you'll share it with others thanks again